Hi there folks, this is a battle that I'm really excited about because it's a remake of my Chuck team. Um, it just wasn't doing that well and even though I've revised it in the past, I decided to revise it once more. I took out uh, four of the Pokemon that were on here and uh, returned Jufro to its uh, original spot as my lead and added uh, three new Pokemon. So anyway, lean back and enjoy. Uh, my opponent today is... Um, Argalax, uh, who peon me through YouTube, you should go check out his channel. And anyway, he goes ahead and leads off with his suicide lead, um, an Infernape. Um, I would say I assume it's a suicide lead based on uh, its name. And anyway, I go ahead and stun sport. That's the primary difference um, with this Jufro versus the last time. Oh, also, I've um, gone through and edited the nicknames now that I'm no longer limited to five characters. Um, but uh, HCHB keeps its old nickname, and I decided to send it out even though it's really early in the match because I figure it should be a pretty strong counter for this guy. So I go ahead and Shell Smash. I know it probably runs um, some kind of priority move, but I'm not really fearing here because um, I've got a priority move myself. Um, of course, it's a suicide lead, it's an Infernape. Of course it's going to have the Focus Sash. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. But anyway, so he goes ahead and Grass Knots me. And that's going to go ahead and take me down to 1 HP. Um, HCHB is very, very heavy, I guess. Um, not really surprising, it's a pretty bulky turtle. Um, and so I get a little bit of Leftover's Recovery. And I'm going to go ahead and use Aqua Jet, which I just expect to take it down to its Focus Sash. I really wish I had done something different and not, um, you know, and not uh, wasted my HCHP so early, um, because of course it has a focus sash. Um, amazingly, even at plus two speed, he outspeeds me and takes out my Caracosta before I, I'm able to Aqua Jet him. So that's just awful. Um, and so I go ahead and um, I've got, I'm like, okay, that's not a good start. I gotta get my head in the game. So I just go ahead and send out my Dragon. I go ahead and extreme speed him for the KO. Um, luckily, extreme speed has even greater um that uh, has even greater priority than Aqua Jet this generation, and so now he sends out his Zangoose. I go ahead and Dragon Dance here because I'm at full HP. I'm fairly confident he can't one hit KO me thanks to um, multi, um, multi scale, and indeed he's actually going for counter, so I'm really glad I didn't attack there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull back and go ahead and send out my Jirachi, um, which is what's going to keep this team off of the random Wi-Fi circuit, but it's also, I just love Jirachi. Jirachi is one of my favorite Pokemon, period. This is not the Jirachi that you previously saw on my Sam team. This is a completely different strategy for Jirachi. It's a Calm Mind Jirachi, but it's got a, it's, um, not a, just a straight up Calm Mind Jirachi as you're about to see. So I go ahead and get the plus one Calm Mind. And then I go ahead and Psy Shock him, and I'm hoping that at plus one it's going to be enough to take it out, but I'm not really that hopeful because Muck has pretty good defenses as I recall. Um, but amazing, yeah, and amazingly it does a whole lot, but it does not one hit KO, but it will two hit KO, so I'm fairly confident I'll be able to take it out on the next turn. Um, so he gets off a curse, he really should just attack this turn, um, but whatever. Uh, I mean, it was probably a pretty safe bet that I wasn't going to KO on the first turn. Um, so I go. Uh, so he goes ahead and shadow sneaks me. Uh, it's really cool that Muck can learn shadow sneak. I think. But anyway, a Psy shock is easily going to take it out. And by the way, um, note how little damage that did. That's because in addition to resisting, oh, it actually doesn't resist the move. Um, even though he was at plus one, this is a bold max defense, max HP Jirachi. The max HP is so uh, you know. Notice the 404 HP. That's so it can get off 202 HP wishes that it can pass on to other uh, Pokemon on my team. So anyway, he goes ahead and um, sends out his Gengar, uh, Shadow Balls me, and I hit back with a Psy Shock, um, which is the primary attacking move of this Jirachi, and it is enough to one hit KO his Gengar. I was very happy that he didn't have a Sash, um, but you know his Shadow Ball didn't really do too much against me, so. Um, I could have probably taken another one. <clears throat> anyway, next out for him is his Starhawk, his um, Staraptor. He goes ahead and goes for the close combat, and I was kind of figuring that he'd do something like that. Um, so that's going to get his defenses down. Oh, he gets a crit. I was like, I can't believe how much damage that's doing. I figured it must be banded, which it probably is. Um, but, booyah, Doom Desire. Doom Desire got a huge boost this generation because it now has stab, 100% accuracy, and it just does more damage, hits harder, it's amazing. Um, but so, because he's at minus one, um, this is really, really amazing. Whoever takes the Doom Desire attack will be using 
his, uh, his Pokemon's defenses, uh, that Staraptor's defenses, so at minus one and at my plus one uh, special attack. So it's, go uh, it's going to be really, really awesome. Uh, yeah, so he goes ahead and uh, switches out and sends in his troop, his Tropius, um, and I go ahead and use extreme speed here and just look how little damage this does. Just look. It does like practically nothing. But now look at this Doom Desire. Now granted we're talking physical versus special, but even so, look at how much this Doom Desire does. Look at it. It does, you know, more than 50% easily, uh, and that's at only plus one boost. I was actually expecting it to do a little bit more than that. Uh, yeah, I don't, my Jirachi, I believe, does not have any investment in special attack, maybe four uh, EVs, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so anyway, unfortunately he had the Citrus Berry, so I have to go ahead and send in my uh, Tachikoma, um, another Tachikoma, this is now my third uh, Rotom form that's on any of my teams, and they're all different forms. This is a Heat form, this is actually a different breed, this one's shiny. Um, yeah, I really like how uh, Oven Rotom looks shiny. Anyway, he goes ahead and Protect Stalls me, which is probably a pretty good move, and I am just going for the obvious overheat here. But, um, you know, I don't think he's got anyone on his team who, you know, he can switch into that overheat. This is a Specs Rotom, um, modest nature, uh, 252 uh, EVs in special uh, attack, and so that is easily going to be enough to take out that Tropius um, just after all those boosts. So, uh, anyway, my special uh, attack is now harshly fall uh, fallen, and I'm probably going to have to switch out the next turn. So he goes ahead and sends his Starhawk right back out, um, and I'm going to go ahead and switch out. Uh, he goes ahead and pursuits me, but Rotom is no longer Ghost-type, so that doesn't hurt as much as it might have in the past. Um, so anyway, I go ahead and send in Puff, my Magic Dragonite, um, who may or may not live by the sea, and he's going to go ahead and call back his Starhawk and send out his um, Terrorize once again his uh, Zangoose. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the extreme speed here, which is going to break his sash, which I assume he has, because, you know, why would you run a Zangoose with counter without um, a sash? So anyway, he goes ahead and taunts me, which is good for him. I can't now set up um, extreme speed, or not extreme speed, dragon uh, dances, and but I figure that I can take, a, take it out with a dragon claw without any boosts, and indeed I can. So his Zangoose goes down, and I am happy. Um, so next up for him is his um, Starhawk yet again. It goes ahead and double edges me um, for the recoil damage, uh, and it's going to do a, it's going to do a fair amount to my Dragonite, um, but I do survive. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and use Dragon Claw against him, and we're just going to see how much it does. Um, it may take him out, it may not. This is his last Pokemon. And he survives, but I've got it with the extreme speed, so that's going to be good game. Great game, Argalax. I hope you guys have enjoyed this battle, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the music, which is um, from the Pokemon Symphony by Scotine and Company. So anyway, you should probably go check out that channel. It's got some amazing music on it. But anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Peace out.